Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're continuing our GCC exam preparation, heading for paper three now, nearly at the end now. So we're gonna go through a foundation, paper three, and looking for quick wins. Again, just one or two mark questions. Don't need to read too much. Uh, even though it's a calculator paper, again, gonna try and not use a calculator. Um, so we're not worrying about uh, what to enter. So I'm gonna skip this one for now because you have to use a calculator for that, but hopefully we know how to do that. So I'm gonna go straight to this question here. Here are some digit cards. So that's a six, an eight, a three, a five, a seven, and a 10. And it's a probability question. We know probability only lies between zero and one. And we've got a mark with a cross, the probability that the number on the card is even. So anything that's even, six is even, an eight is even, 10 is even. So I know that three out of the six are even. Three over six is the same as a half, so put the cross there. Okay, um, one mark, just over a minute there. On the probability scale, mark the cross, x the probability that the number on the card is greater than 15, so smaller, 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 smaller. So there's no chance of getting something greater than 15. Okay, so we've got two marks in less than two minutes, saving us a bit of time. Um, this one looks like a sequences question. Um, but although it's one and two mark questions, I'm going to skip it for now because it looks like it's a bit more reading than I want to do right now. I just want to aim at little reading, little cognitive load, so I can get the most marks, bank some marks, and then come back to these type of questions. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, this question here. It's about fractions. Um, fractions is something I feel confident with. So fractions equivalent to four sevenths. Okay, so four to two is divided by two. Seven hasn't been divided by two, so it can't be that one. 12 is in the four times table. So four times three is 12 and seven times three is 21. So yeah, that's right. Four to five isn't gonna be the same as seven to eight. Um, I would have to compare those fractions. Um, I'll come back to that one in a second. Or 400 over 700, multiply them both by 100. Yeah, that's correct. Um, this last one here, four times four is 16, but four times seven is actually 28, so it can't be uh, that one. Um, whereas here, four times seven is 28, and uh, seven times seven is 49. So if I multiply either of those by seven, I get that one. So those three should be correct. Um, and then for this one, I'd have to break a shape into eighths, and that would be five eighths, and if I broke that same shape into sevenths, uh, they wouldn't be the same. Right, um, I could go through a long explanation to go through that one, but to save us time, this is not a lesson, this is an exam, so I'm gonna move on. Okay, now we're gonna go into some factors here. Two of the factors of 48 have a difference of 14. So we're gonna think about what are the factors of 48 that have a difference of 14. Well, 2 times 24, um, 48 is 8 and 6, uh, 12 and 4, uh, 16 and 3. There I can see 2 and 16. Didn't have to say they had to be factor pairs, just 2 and 16 have a difference of 14 there. Okay, now we're going to look at the lowest common multiple of 12 and 15. There are lots of different ways of doing this. Uh, you could list it. Um, I like the table method. They both got uh, three as a factor, so I divide by three, left with four, left with five, and then that L shape gives me the lowest common multiple. Three times four is 12 times five. It's gonna be 60. If we know how to use a clock, we know that four 15s is 20 and five 12s. Sorry, four 15s is 60, five 12s is 60. So that should work. Okay, done four minutes. We've definitely done uh, more than four marks. I know I'm moving at pace. If your video is going too fast, just pause the video and stop and go at what pace suits you. But I'm trying to put myself under exam pressure. Again, little reading, little calculator use, trying to gain what should be the quick win marks. So for instance here, I always like some algebra questions in an exam um, because there's only one word I have to read there. And I've got to simplify 7x plus 4x minus 3x. Regardless that that x should represent a number, just imagine it's a thing, 
that's 11 of them, take away three of them, must be eight of whatever that number is. Okay, so four minus three is one, one plus seven is eight, whichever way we look at it, and that's a mark done really quickly after reading only one word. Again, just not only need to read one word, expand in algebra means multiply, term on the outside by everything on the inside, g times g is g squared, g times five is five g. So if you're not sure about these keywords, go over simplify, understand what expand means, don't have to do a lot of comprehension like you might do in history or English. Um, factorize fully, that keyword there, fully, means it's going to be at least two things. So 5xy plus 15x, I can definitely see the x there has to come out. But 5 and 15 are both in the same times tables. Uh, so I want to take out the 5x, leaving me y and 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To me, that's really quick marks, 5 marks. Probably got all five of those marks in a minute. Um, and only had to read three, four words. Uh, work out the missing number here. 28 is what fraction of 12 out of 48? Well, I know that 12 goes into 48 four times. Um, so each of those twelfths, if I had a model there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 12, each of those would be four. And seven of them would, four times seven, makes 28, so it's gonna be 7 twelfths. Um, 28 is 7 twelfths of 48, okay? And go through the fractions, lessons, and videos if you need more on that. Okay, this one to me, again, looks like a lot of reading. I'm gonna come back to it. Um, even though there's only one and two mark questions, right now I'm just looking for um, quick wins, ease on the effort that I have to uh, put my brain under right at the start. 27% as a fraction, well, percent means out of 100. So just write it over 100 and you get a mark for only having to read about four words there. Again, that's a lot of reading, I'll come back to it. That's a lot of reading, I'll come back to it. When I feel like I've got enough of the questions answered, save myself some time. Okay, this is a data question. Um, They've asked to find the median, which is the same as the middle number. Unfortunately, the numbers aren't ordered. I'll have to order that. That'll take a bit of time. I'm going to come back to that one. Um, this is a parallel lines with triangles, so an angles question. I know how to do this, but right now, yeah, it's a four mark question. I'll come back to that when I've got some time. It's only just done about eight minutes. We've definitely got eight marks. Um, here we go. Um, Work at the area of a triangle, half base times height. Uh, they've given us the base of 80, half of 80 times 24. Again, I'm not using calculator, so I'm gonna use my um, factors and knowing how to multiply. Half of 12, half of 24 is 12, 12 times 80. 12 times eight is 96 plus that 10. Hopefully that's 960. I actually did a three mark question there. Right. Uh, Two mark question, A is 2.5, B equals minus five. Substitution here, that's the skill we need. Work out 4A minus B. So four times 2.5 minus, minus five. Watch your negatives there. Four times 2.5, or double 2.5 is five. So four times 2.5 will be 10, minus and minus. Only in this case will be plus, I'm gonna get 15. That one looks a little bit trickier. I'm gonna move on to me. Right now, that's a lot of words. I'll come back to it later. Okay, we're coming to it. Uh, getting through the, the meat of the exam paper now. Um, these questions are gonna take a little bit more time. I'm gonna go over to here. Also a little bit more reading. Maybe this one, an expression of a perimeter. They're all gonna be three P minus four because it's an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has all sides the same. So it's only one mark, 3p, 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 9p, minus four, minus four, minus four, minus 12, okay? Because that dash there means all of those are the same. Again, I'm moving really quickly because I'm trying to put myself under exam pressure. Pause the video if you need, and I'm only focusing on one or two mark questions, saving the longer questions for later. Because if I've done more than 10 marks in 10 minutes, and I've still got at least an hour for the longer questions that need more reading and more comprehension. 
Okay, that one, I can already see I'd have to make a graph. Although it's a two mark question, there's a lot more to do there. This one here, 330 meters in 15 seconds. Check the marks, it's two marks. So if I want the answer in meters per second, the cheetah's average speed, if I just do 330 meters in 15 seconds, I'd have to divide that by 15. At least get that started. I'll come back to one later. Uh, converting that to kilometers, that'll take a bit more time. Let's see how much more we can do. I'm coming to the end of the paper. These questions are gonna take a little bit more time, but I can do this one here on ratio. There are 18 giraffes and 24 elephants in a wildlife park. Write the ratio of giraffes to elephants in its simplest integer form. We'll start off with 18 to 24. Those are both multiples of six. Uh, so I can divide that by six and get three to four. If you can't see that, at least halve it, uh, put it nine to 12 and then one more step. Okay, that's about it for what I can do in this time. I'm just looking for one and two mark questions. Uh, look at the last two questions here. Or well, this one, hopefully you see it's a right angle triangle looking for sides. You're gonna use Pythagoras there. But I'll stop there. Thanks for watching a real rushed through video, trying to see how can we make sure that we're gonna get lots of marks as quickly as possible to give us time. Again, I'm rushing, but I'm not making mistakes. I'm being very particular about what I'm doing. I'm only picking the questions that I know I can answer. So I'm not gonna make silly mistakes. I'm not guessing. I'm just asking ones that I know I can answer quite quickly. Um, okay, so just a quick recap of the type of things we've looked at. Uh, Pythagoras, I know there. Um, that one is ratio. Other questions here, uh, speed, um, knowledge about properties of a triangle, area of a triangle. I could answer that one quickly because I saw in the question said area. That one was substitution. That one was data, but I didn't quite answer it. Um, fractions and decimals and percentages, algebra, Fractions again, factors, fractions, and multiples. Okay, so lots of key number skills there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and good luck for your exams.